Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's Ruins Day. We're back in Vicenza, Italy. And today what we're gonna talk about are some of the common scams that you might see when you do come here to Italy. Because so many tourists come to Italy to enjoy the food, the culture, the people, the sights, the beautiful squares like this. That of course, some of the more nefarious elements do come out as well. So you will see scams and pickpockets and stuff like that. And so what I'm gonna focus on today are some of the more common ones you do see here in Italy. Yes, you do see the taxis kind of ripping people off and overcharging a bar here and there, but those are things you see anywhere. And we have plenty of videos for like general scams, but we wanna focus on are specifically things you're gonna see here in Italy. And the one that gets me the most is actually the scam where it's, they give you something for free or something that they found and they offer it to you. This might be the rose. Oh, I have a flower. Please take this rose. It's free. Or maybe they'll put a bracelet on you or another one, they'll put a bracelet on your kids. And like, oh, it's a cool bracelet. No, it's really great. You should take this. I want you to have it. And then they want money or then they want something for it. Or another one, like you'll see it called the gold ring, but they'll find a ring and be like, hey, do you want this? We found it. Oh, it's worth 70 euros. Now give me 70 euros. And you do have that kind of stuff out there. And that's really, really frustrating. So anytime anyone offers you a rose or offers you a flower, or just anyone comes up to you just like no thanks no grazie and just walk away that's your best way to deal with it okay now the second scam i see a lot i see this especially in roma termini station i see the other train station as well it's kind of like the the unofficial helpers at the train station now the thing is here in italy train italia they've got the lines you can wait in to go get your tickets but they have all these automatic kiosks that are awesome and then they're in tons of languages and believe me you can figure it out on your own but when you're standing there with all your bags wondering what do I need to do, someone will probably come up and say, hey, oh, do you need some help? And sometimes they are helpful people, but sometimes they're helpful people, but they're looking for something. And so they might be checking you out to see what bags you have, or they help you buy your ticket. Think about it. Oh, I'll, I'll give you the 20 euros. You buy the ticket for me. No, just, just stay away from this. Someone comes up that tries to help you when you're at the kiosk, just say, no, thank you and just have them go on their way because they might keep asking you things, okay? So that's one side of it. Another side of it is if you're at one of the bigger stations and you pack too much stuff, which I do see quite often, there might be porters there that offer to help you bring your bags places. Look, they're not doing that to be nice to you. They're doing that to make money from you, okay? So don't expect them to do it for free because I know a lot of tourists like, oh, those people were so nice helping us bring our bags on the train. And then they wanted money. I'm like, yeah, that, that's what they're doing. So it's not, not always a scam. It's also some ways how some people make money. So do have a heads up for that. Now the third scam I guess I see here isn't really a scam. I would call this the, it's a lot more expensive than you think price scam. So that would be taking a gondola ride in Venice. You know, when you're going through the canals, you see the gondolas going by and, and they might be singing and stuff like this. Oh, it's so romantic. I want to do that when I go to Venice or maybe I want to go on a carriage ride through the historic center of Rome. Yeah, those things, they're really cool. But just realize they are insanely, insanely expensive. Now, you're not officially robbed when it comes to these things, but your wallet is going to feel like you're robbed when you get the bill for that. So do not just hop in the gondola don't just hop in the carriage make sure you ask how much it is because you might be sticker shocked out of you know what honey this isn't as romantic as i thought it was going to be when you see the prices now the fourth scam i see and it's where i see it a lot of times in like more popular kind of pedestrian zones you have the petition scan someone will come up to you and say hey are, are, you want to save the whales or or hey do you are you against nuclear war or or do you want to do this sign our petition sign our petition help us out look you're not from here your signature doesn't mean anything in a legal sense anyway. So that's one thing you should know. Second thing you should know is most likely those things are just scams. They're either one, trying to scope you out to see what you have, or maybe they might be pickpocketing you while you're signing. You never know. Or they might be letting their friends know what you do have like, oh, watch on the left hand, wallet in the back pocket, these kind of things. So anytime those petition people come up, just say, say no, thank you, no, it's okay. Because even sometimes when you sign, they might be like, oh, well, don't you want to help our cause then? Give us some money. Look, just say no thanks and just walk away. Now, another problem you might see here in Italy is if you're any kind of tourist site, like if you're the Colosseum at Rome or the Vatican in Rome, or you're walking around the Uffizi or the, the center part of Florence or other places like that, pickpockets really are an issue here in Italy. And so you do need to be careful. So, you know, have your money belt and stuff like that. Make sure you're using the safe back at your hotel to lock up your passport, these kind of things, because it is really important. So you might think, 
No one's gonna pickpocket me at the Sistine Chapel. No one's gonna, I mean, we're at the Vatican. They'll burn in hell if they do this. Oh no, even at the Vatican, they have signs saying, hey, watch out for pickpockets, because there are people that do come in. So do be careful. And the thing is, where you see the pickpocketing a lot, like I said, at major tourist sites, but also getting on and off of the Metro or getting on and off of any kind of public transportation, you might have the ones with their hands in your pocket and you don't even realize it. And then when the door closes, they're outside with your wallet or your money. I can't tell you how many times I've seen like stuff sitting on the Metro floor in Rome or on the ground. I'm like, oh, that was obviously out of someone's pocket. You do need to be careful with that. So always do pay attention. And I know people get close to you here, but if people get too close and they don't need to, you really do need to pay attention. Now, another scam I do see quite often is you see the, the begging lady or the begging older lady or the, the begging mom with her kid asking, you know, please, we need money, help us out. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of those people aren't begging for money to help out their kids. They're just begging for money to get money. If you ever wonder, why is why are the kids always asleep? Okay, I mean, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's hot outside. Like, should the kid, when the kid want to run around and play or do something? Yeah, the kid's passed out there, okay? So do have a heads up. Don't just give money out that way. We've actually been harassed a number of times for people while we've been filming. And they're like, hey, give, give, give us some money. Like, some old lady will come up and she's just, like, poking us and things like that. Just say, no, no, don't do that. They have a good social system here so they can help them out when they're here. So don't do that. Even the government will tell you, don't give to the beggars out there. And I know some of you will say, well, Mark, that's not very nice of you. Believe me, there's reasons why I say this and there's reasons why the government say this too, okay? So just have a heads up for that. Now another scam you might see when you're here is the, the gelato oops or the, you know, in Germany it's like the mustard oops or it's the bird put poop oops. You Basically it works kind of the same way. Somebody walks up and bumps into you like, oh, scoozy, scoozy, sorry, sorry. And they're like, yo, let me help you clean off your stuff. And they might get some gelato on you or like mustard on you or something like that. And they'll be very nice and help you clean it off. Maybe give you some tips. Oh, you're here in Rome. You got to have this food. If you're in Vicenza, you got to have this food. And then when you look back around, your bag's gone and that person's gone. The thing is they were distracting you so their buddy could come get your bag when you took it off to clean things off. So if anybody knocks anything into you or bird poops on you or anything like that and someone tries to help, just like, no, no, I got it myself, thanks, you know, okay? Just have a heads up for that. And the thing is, these aren't things that just happen in Rome and Florence. These are things that happen in lots of places in Italy, so do have a heads up. Even smaller towns like Vicenza, I mean, this is the one place where actually Jocelyn got her wallet stolen out of her baby bag on the carriage when Liam was a baby. I mean, this is what we're talking about here, okay? So do have a heads up no matter where you go. And the thing is that not all these scams are really scam scams. Sometimes it's just things that you need to know about. For example, if you're in Rome, you'll see the the gladiators and the roman soldiers and the way like, come come take a picture come come especially if you have kids look it's not a scam just that you need to know that you're going to need to pay them you need to go to give them some money for those pictures because again that's how they're making their living so do have a heads up for that another thing i see in some of the more busier areas is you also might see the knockoff bag you know scams and stuff like that the guys lay out all their bags they lay out their jewelry and stuff like that and you think oh this looks legit yeah it's not legit okay i guarantee pretty much everything on there is fake so don't think it's going to be a real gucci bag or a real prada bag okay it's not now if you want it and you don't mind it being fake that's up to you but i'm just letting you know it's probably not real gold okay so have a heads up for that one another thing you might see when you are here and this is the thing that in italy you're required to have your your receipts when you get leaving a building because they want to make sure everyone's paying their taxes and I have heard, I mean, I have not seen this, so I can't say this, but I have heard about some people dressing up like fake cops or fake tax police and going, hey, where's your receipt? You need to have your receipt for this restaurant. Look, they're not doing that to get you. They're getting, doing that to get the restaurant. So if anyone's giving you any grief and like make it, trying to get you to pay a fine or, or anything, be like, I'm calling bull BS on this one. Show me your badge. Let's go back there and talk to them so you can get those things taken care of. Now, that one I haven't really seen very often, but I have read about it. But the other ones I have seen firsthand, so do have a heads up for it, okay? So those are some of the scams that I find that are more prevalent in Italy. If you want to learn about other scams you might see, we've got plenty of scams from the biggest scams around the world for travelers or just scams that are really focused in Europe. And if you do want to watch them, they're all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you like honest travel videos like this that can help you travel better, 
hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday so we can help other travelers just like you have a better time traveling. So thank you very much. I hope you give us a like, and we want to give a special thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon who make videos like this possible. We really appreciate their support, and we really appreciate your support of the thumbs up and things like that. So have a great time traveling. Don't worry too much about the scams and stuff like that. The Italians are fantastic people, and they will help you out, so don't worry in that respect. But and also, if you do have any of these things do happen, go talk to the police. They'll be glad to point you in the right direction, how to fill out the forms and stuff like that. And that's really great. Also, if you're pickpocketed, just track your steps back and they might just take the cash and then throw the, the wallet away because they don't want any proof that they did rob you. Anyway, have a great day and bye from Vicenza.